Hello again, and welcome to another Why do I need that? Or perhaps this episode should actually be called Where do I need that? Because this week I'm looking at an app that's about to revolutionise the way we think about location and addresses, and it's called What Three Words? <laughs> What Three Words is a company that have done the following bonkers but yet genius thing. One, mapped out the entire Earth into three by three meter squares, and two, given each of those squares its own unique three word code. And yes, I do mean the entire globe of the Earth on which we live, including the seas, cities, mountains, deserts, every single three by three meter square of this here planet upon which you are currently watching this video has been given its own unique three word code. For example, the very centre of the Eiffel Tower in Paris lives at Daunting Evolves Nappy. The Statue of Liberty lives at Planet Inches Most. Three words I just randomly chose, Noise, Face, Punch, is actually a random part of Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire. And the three word code, Visions, Logo, Disbelieved, while Apple may want that to be their headquarters in Cupertino, is actually somewhere in the South Pacific Ocean. I am not making this up. The company has genuinely mapped the entire globe into three by three meter squares with unique three word codes. That's actually happened. Once you're finished watching this video, just go download the app and see for yourself and find the three word code of your current location. Now, it's all well and good that they've done that, but it makes me think, why do I need that? Well, stepping aside from the average you and me for a second, the world needs this for several reasons. Take the favelas in Brazil, the townships in South Africa, or countries who have broadly nomadic populations, people who move around a lot. These are educated people, they often have disposable income, they may even have internet access, but they don't have any form of easily identifiable address. And what about town planning, where you have to set and record the location of fire hydrants, post boxes, electricity substations, or scientists studying marine life who want to refer to a specific location in the sea. These things could all be mapped out using latitude and longitude coordinates. But using three simple words means it's much less prone to error, so like you don't mistake a one for a seven or something, and means the location is much more easily memorable by a human, because we are not very good at remembering long strings of numbers, but we are quite good at remembering three words. So what three words is doing amazing things for the world by bringing in an easy to remember global address system, which I believe is now available in something like 15 different languages. They're now also the official address system used by the Mongolian Postal Service because they have such a nomadic population, which is awesome and nuts! But let's be selfish again, you and me, okay? Let's think about why we should care about what three words as people who live in towns and cities in countries that have fairly good address systems already. Well, first off, now that it's summer, what three words is the perfect solution to help you find friends at festivals or in parks so that this no longer has to happen. Hiya, I'm just at the park now. Whereabouts are you guys? Um, I'm on a grassy bit. Um, I'm near a big tree. Oh, uh, there's a guy playing frisbee nearby, if that helps. Right, well that, that could be anywhere in the whole park, so could you give me any more information? Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, well I'm, I'm waving now. If that, does that make it any better? Or... Using what three words avoids having to try and pronounce foreign place names that you'd struggle with otherwise. Hi, um, we're trying to get to, um, I don't know how to, how to pronounce it, is it um, Le Leicester Square or um, maybe it's Ly Leicester Square, um, Le Leicester Square? So, do you know where that is? No, I've, I've no idea what you mean, mate. Sorry. Oh, okay. Let me try something else. Could you take us to Mugs Smashed Plans? Oh, yeah, of course, mate. Leicester Square. Why don't you say so? If you live in a block of flats, you could use what three words to tell parcel or food delivery people where the exact entrance to your building is. My address is actually 22 Canterbury Court. That's, so that's why I put on the order. But the entrance to the block, so where the, where the delivery guy should come, is actually closer, it's around the corner, it's actually closer to 3 Carolyn Way. So if you could just tell him that, that would be great. No, 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 the address is, the address is right, so it is 22 Canterbury Court, that's right, but actually to get into the building it's closer to 3 Carolyn Way. Right. Yeah. 
No, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to change the address. The address is right. I'm just trying to say where where the guy needs to come. No, don't deliver it to three Carolyn Way. I'm saying that's where the end. Do you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. Cancel the order. I'm gonna cook. I'll just. I'll cook. And finally, you could use what three words to run amazing treasure hunts. All you'd have to do is make the clues reveal each of the three words in the code and then that's the next location they have to get to. Only word of caution is though that they do need to get the answers dead on correct. Otherwise... Yes, that's right. If you could tell me the price of three tickets to Australia, that would be great. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. I think we're almost there. We're almost gonna get that £50 prize. All the other teams went off to like West London or somewhere, but I'm like 90 something percent sure we got this one right. And when we get there and I don't know, like, what, two days time, they are gonna be so pissed. And let's not forget about the future. If we end up living in a world where robots and drones are delivering all our mail, we're gonna to need to tell them, land there, don't land there, which is in a bin, or there, which is in a pond, or there, which is falling off a cliff. This is where you need to land. And without something like what three words, you'd have no way to do that. So that's what three words, a company revolutionizing how we talk about location and addresses, and a system that can be used for a whole host of genuinely useful powerful and empowering use cases, as well as some funny ones too. Tee -hee. Do go and download the What Three Words app, try it out, and most importantly, post as a comment below this video any three word combinations you find, either near where you live or work or just somewhere in the world, that are funny or rude or ironic or just interesting. And also let me know if you can think of any other useful applications of their system. Do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit subscribe because it will then notify you of other videos I post about similarly interesting or weird tech. I'll see you next time, gadget fans. Bye. Say bye, Murray. Oh, he, he's shy. Bye. There he goes, see?